Welcome to this new week and this new series from the Jesuit Institute called Accompanying. You know, friends, we are accompanying one another at this time, but we are also being accompanied by God. And so Accompanying will be broadcast on Mondays, on Wednesdays, and on Fridays. On Mondays, we will explore prayer and the spiritual life. On Wednesdays, we're going to look at Scripture and what Scripture says to us in this challenging time. And on Fridays, we will look at different themes that could help us emotionally or psychologically or spiritually. On some days, we will offer material with accompanying, which you are free to use if you find it helpful. And so I want to begin today by reflecting on prayer. The classic definition of prayer is the raising of the heart and the mind to God. And this is a beautiful definition because that's exactly what we want to do. We want to raise our hearts and our minds to God so that we get the bigger picture. However, this definition also could imply that it's up to us, it's up to our efforts, that God is somewhere out there and we have to pull ourselves up towards God. And we may find it very difficult to do this because we have an idea of prayer, prayer that is holy or sacred or has to be done perfectly. And this means that we often think that that which is in our minds and our hearts cannot be raised to God. Our feelings of anger or bitterness or anxiety or vengeance or even our sexual thoughts. And so we tend not to raise our hearts and our minds to God. Therefore, prayer becomes more what we think it should be than really who we are, what is truly in our hearts and in our minds. And this is not because we deliberately trying to do that, but because this is how we have been formed to think about what God wants to hear. I want to offer you today another definition, a simple definition, that prayer is opening to God. And I like that definition because it implies receptivity. To be open is an act, to be open to another, but the other still remains the dominant partner. Opening to God means that we are open to God where we are right now. That means if we're feeling angry or hurt or sad or fearful or anxious or happy or rejoicing, we simply open that to God. You know, friends, if you look at the Psalms, the prayer book of the people of Israel, you will notice a whole range of human thoughts and emotions from murderous thoughts to praise and rejoicing. And often, too, we wonder about the tools or the methods of prayer, making sure that we get it right, that we say the words exactly as they should be said. These are important to begin with. St. Ignatius, for example, followed a very systematic way of learning and teaching prayer. But as we grow and as we mature, our prayer should change. St. Ignatius spoke about finding God in all things, being a contemplative in action, in a sense that everything, our work and our play, our joy and our struggle, becomes the very essence of our prayer. When we seek to be open to God, there is no wrong way to pray. There is no wrong feeling. There is no wrong thought or wrong desire. God wants to be with us where we are right now. And so we simply just open all that to God. The most important thing is that we show up for prayer, as so many of the great spiritual guides tell us, that we make the time. Even if nothing happens, and I can assure you nothing happens most days, we simply make the time to be open to God. 
And so don't be afraid of being bored or distracted. Just show up and open yourself to God where you find yourself at that time. And so in the next few days, I'm going to encourage you, challenge you to try showing up for 10 or so minutes a day and just letting the Lord see who you are, opening yourself to God. And notice how things slowly begin to change. Maybe even write them down. And if you try that, if you try just being open to God, allowing God to see you and your life as you are, you'll be amazed how your prayer and your relationship with God begins to evolve. <music>